All right, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> to uh, another tutorial, uh, lesson, video instruction, or whatever else you want to really call it, from Victor's Vacuum 360. So today, and as like the title suggests, I'm gonna show you how to mod a specific game that. And runs on DirectX 11 and is therefore unsupported by uh, the text mod and that game is Agents of Man so as you can see I've spent quite a bit of time in that game so yeah we are gonna mod it using this little tool well seems like little but it's actually a really 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 useful one made by Raywing from the undertow forums so all respect to the guy or lady whoever it is and uh, thanks to them for making this awesome tool so first of all let's have a look at the readme uh, especially for the modders section first of all before making uh, sure that you can use this tool you need to install the um, certain additions to your operation system so you'll need the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable 64-bit uh, version of Java runtime environment JRE for short and there is actually a link in the readme file for that and you'll also obviously need the uh, <laughs> writing uh, rights to the folders that you are going to use in this uh, process. So yeah, let's have a look. Razor app, uh, when you launch it, uh, starts off like that. It's a dot .jar file, which means <laughs> well, it's basically a Java executable, not exe, but uh, the pure Java file and uh, it has this little interface obviously if you launch it for the first time you won't have any uh, applications like this here you'll just have the add application button and that's when you actually need to make sure you know where Agents of Mayhem is so if you go to Steam right click Agents of Mayhem go to properties local files uh, the tab local files obviously and click on the button browse local files it actually shows you the location of the uh, well <laughs> files and you'll need to navigate to AOM folder that's where the executable is and executable is obviously the only one here <laughs> uh, AOM underscore release underscore final dot exe so let's close that down. That's the one we're going to have to add to the. Oh, yeah, let's close it down. That's the one we're going to add as an application. So we go add application, navigate. Obviously, it's navigated for me already because uh, I've kind of selected it before. So I'm going to select Aon Release Final EXE and double click it. It asks us which type of application this game is. Well, no, uh, like from the description of Agents for Mayhem, that it's a 64 bit because it requires 64 bit operating system. So we select 64 bit, click OK, and there it is, it appeared as uh, a new uh, application, as a new path. It appeared as a uh, line in this list basically. So, next thing is what we have there. <coughs> uh, we need to launch Reserve, double click it, add application. We did that, choose the game executable, not the game launcher, obviously. <laughs> then, uh, what we need to do is open advanced setting in Reserve and enable mod creator mode. Now, make sure you do that before you launch the game. So, we go to Advanced Setting, Enable Mod Creator Mode. It actually tells you, uh, like, in a message that... Well, 
mod creator settings are enabled but if your game is launched right now you have to close the game and launch it again after that you may have uh, switch texture saving checks before not when the game is running so we click OK and we leave this window we don't click OK yet because we need to actually uh, well launch the uh, game and tick this box during the game time now before uh, like we proceed make sure you actually uh, uh, select the folder that you want to save the textures to so I advise making a separate folder like I did so I'm not gonna make a new one because I already created a um, original which is right there this folder is empty at the moment but uh, well like obviously as we play the game and uh, save textures is gonna get populated so <clears throat> let's actually uh, start the game with this window running. I think I have it set to the uh, window full screen borderless. But uh, if you don't see anything like right now, if you see just uh, the black screen, don't worry. If you see the game, then good. <laughs> so yeah. Right now the game is loading, <laughs> and uh, you can, can already see. Uh, yeah, hello, Shaker Z. If you are seeing um, obviously the game, you'll see that she's actually already modded, and um, that she has white uh, skin, like not I mean the skin, the white clothing and Assassin's Creed symbol, like in one of the mods I made. So um, yeah, let's uh, go to the Resurrect tool. Just minimize everything. Uh, go to Resurrect, and now we've got to just tick the box that says Save Original Textures too. Now mind that you have to do that before you actually see the texture for the first time, so that you save. Uh, the texture preferably uh, in the beginning of the folder somewhere. Well, basically, yeah, you'll see how it works. You'll see what I mean. So we tick the box, go back to the game. I think it's in uh, borderless at the moment. So yeah, let's switch to say Daisy. She's unmodded. At least this texture is. <laughs> there we go. Yes, she's a great-looking character. We know that. And in fact, I'm probably going to actually edit the simple uh, bit of the texture, obviously her butt. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of purple, we see where it is, so it's easy to find out which bit to mod. So yeah, by now you should have probably uh, saved uh, all the textures needs. So we gave it a little time. Now we untick save original textures too and click OK. <laughs> now we go to the folder and what do we see? We see a hell of a lot of new little folders that contain files like for instance this uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, this fold uh, base yeah let's just call it subfolder <laughs> uh, I went to BC7 uh, basically DXGI format BC7 typeless for a specific reason because we actually will need this um, subfolder uh, uh, for activating uh, I mean for finding out the texture that we need to mod not for activating yet so remember, this is the folder that we, that we specified in the advanced settings for original textures. Now, interesting thing is, if we exit Agents of Mayhem, <laughs> because there aren't actually that many textures, because we actually launched it after 
the game was already loaded so not all textures might have been uh, loaded in there now if we launch uh, the Agents of Mayhem again and click advanced settings here <coughs> now what we're gonna try and do is uh, basically enable capture of the textures before the game has loaded so save original textures is ticked now we'll go back to the game while it's loading and now it should be really laggy because it's trying to save all the textures into those folders so yeah as you can see it's much laggy and uh, yeah we obviously uh, let them flow through, we let them save to the right files, etc. etc. Now, if we look um, in the same very folder, BC7 or whatever it's called, <coughs> minimize this. Yeah, well, you can see already there are new folders uh, available. So, BC7 Titleist, there are much, 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 much more files there now because. Uh, Obviously, we uh, ticked the box of uh, save original textures before the game was actually loaded. So it saved much more textures that you see for the first time. Now, what we need to do is obviously untick the box because we hopefully captured uh, uh, Daisy's uh, costume texture already. And now the game has glitched through, <laughs> as I call it, and uh, it's now running smoothly again. Anyway, let's close the game down. <coughs> I just use Alt F4 combination, <laughs> the classic one. Click OK. And now we'll have a look through uh, these uh, files in the folder uh, where you saved the original textures. So for me, it's AOM original. Again, if you forget, you can look in advanced settings. That's the one. <coughs> and we go to in this case, we want to edit uh, the costume for the character, so it's most likely in the BC7 folder. It says typeless, but uh, we'll get onto that later. And um, we go to Photoshop. That's when you can start throwing eggs at me for me using this software. But yeah, sometimes you have to because this one actually has extensions for the DDS files. So. I'm just gonna go straight to the uh, file sorting because as you can see my files are sorted by the size that is because I know for a fact that my texture is a character texture and uh, it took me ages of sorting out but uh, they are usually 1366 kilobytes so I'm gonna select all files that are 1366 kilobytes drag them onto Photoshop and this is where the boring bit begins you have to tick the box load meat maps into separate layers and click OK for every image every image and then in it every image until you find the right one of course sometimes it offers you some transparency option but we don't care about that and what's a bear doing there? <laughs> Not sure. Anyway, ah, that actually seems like how right texture for Daisy. <laughs> Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have found it, and I'm just gonna do one more to see if there is anything else after that. And those are different textures now, so no, we can just click cancel on all of the others. Or click on the cross. So, yeah, let's close down all the textures we don't need and uh, just leave it. Oh, we don't want to close down this one. Remember, it's number just in case 1860956 and close down the remaining textures. If you don't, don't like, know how to use Photoshop, please don't ask me because. Uh, 
Yeah, I mainly use it because uh, oh, 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 just to edit this game basically. <laughs> I hardly ever used it before. I mainly use GIMP and uh, Paint.net and stuff like that, as you know. So basically, now we've got our texture found and identified. I mean, hopefully, no other character has this sort of texture. You can see that it's kind of like recurring into the eternity, getting smaller, 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 smaller. That is because it has the meat players, so called meat players. So, what we need to do is navigate to the lowest uh, layer right there and uh, go to the left of the image where the layer visibility is indicated and right click it and choose show hide all other layers now that is done because this is the most high definition um, uh, bit of the texture because all the other layers contain less definition textures if that makes sense <laughs> so yeah we wanted to edit her but obviously of course we do so I'm just gonna uh, select the magic wand tool and select the purple bits like this one hold shift select this one this just like as you would normally edit the Photoshop image and uh, how shall we retexture it? Uh, I don't know. Let's just use the gradient. Yeah, let's just use the rainbow gradient. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> yeah. If we do something like that, she has now got a rainbow butt. <laughs> and, uh, if we want to add like something else, like uh, another star on her other cheek, we can just select the shape of the star. Yes, I know I'm a artist rather than an artist in Photoshop, but yeah, bear with me. <laughs> yeah, let's just... For the sake of the education, let's just choose something that will distinguish this texture from original one. Yeah. Oh. Release detail. Yeah. So we have rainbow star on her other cheek. We have the rainbow butt. And this is where the interesting bit begins. We need to click on file. Save as. And we don't save it in the same folder. We need to navigate uh, to the folder that we chose as a modded texture folder. Or if you haven't chosen it yet, you can do it now. So basically, uh, for me, it's the one in my documents. So yeah. I'm just going to navigate to that. Go to library, documents, uh, resurrect, and modded. As you can see, like these are like some of my uh, already pre made textures for Agents of Mayhem. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add this one to the list. Click save. This is where the interesting fun begins. We actually get a whole lot of options um, in terms of compression, and uh, you need to know which one to choose for specific textures, because uh, if you choose the wrong one, your texture might look glitchy in the actual game. Now, I'm sure that um, Raywing, the creator of this useful tool, has included uh, for modest folder, there it is, and it explains which formats to choose for each specific uh, BC. So BC3 is this, BC4 is this, BC5 is that, etc. 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 BC7 has several types, and I am pretty sure it is BC7. Uh, Fine S R G B DirectX 11 plus. 
and there you just leave color plus alpha obviously because uh, we need all the best texture now don't forget to set meat maps to auto generate because all the other sub um, layers uh, basically of lower textual quality and lower definition will need to be automatically generated from the biggest definition so we click OK does its magic we minimize it and now what we need to do is disable the creator mode in advanced settings so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna untick the box it says obviously again you need uh, to relaunch the game if you launched it already for the changes to take effect okay and uh, all we need to do now is basically launch the game and check if it works so let's do that check if Daisy has a rainbow butt yeah I'm the type of person I know sometimes <laughs> so just to explain to everyone uh, while the game is loading this is not a perfect alternative for text mode as of yet uh, because obviously um, it works for DirectX 11 games only but it doesn't work for all of them but with Agents of Mayhem it works like a charm so you know how to use it and there we have it if you can see the game ladies and gents congratulations we got ourselves a rainbow butt oh and actual star on the cheek you see the star on the cheek yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that proves basically the concept that uh, our game is modded. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope this was educational somewhat, uh, as well as funny. And, uh, yeah, if you're unsure about anything, please don't hesitate about leaving a comment because I do read them. I try to uh, reply as soon as I can. Obviously, sometimes I'm away, but, yeah. <coughs> And yeah, I hope uh, to see your creations. If you want to support the creator of the tool, you can do so on Undertow or Forum. Because uh, that guy is basically a genius. He made, uh, or that lady, again, well, I'm not sure who that is, but yeah, uh, they made a uh, tool that allows us to tamper with DirectX 11 textures. So I think that's quite handy. Oh, another thing in Photoshop you will need um, a uh, plugin for DDS textures and that is most likely explained in the readme. If it's not then I'll leave the... Oh no, it is explained. What it tells you Photoshop plugin. It even has the link. There we go. So my bad. It does have the link to everything and uh, if you are using Photoshop to edit DDS files, then you can use that plugin, which is really handy. And uh, I'll obviously leave the link under the video uh, for the tool and uh, for the specific forum that has it, basically all information about it. Hope this was helpful. Which is Wagon360. Again, don't hesitate if you need some help in the comments, and see you next time.